Hey, it's Bridget from Master App. Just a quick little video today with a quick game you can implement in your classroom for the Tools for Teaching Teens blog here. This idea for a relay game is a great way to practice vocabulary or review skills or concepts for a quiz. The great part is that it holds everyone accountable. You're going to split the students into teams of six to eight, and it's best if they sit in a circle so it's easy to pass the papers around. This works kind of like telephone. They have to try and get the message all the way through their whole team, and each paper has a different message. Here's a sample how it would work with a vocabulary word. Each student starts with a paper that has a term. After defining it, then they fold everything except their own writing back behind the page and then pass it to the right. Each student now he has only a definition visible that the previous student wrote. They each define the new word they received based on the definition. So this is showing the path of one paper. And then they fold it back again and pass it on. Each paper has a different vocabulary word and each student has a different marker. So you can see each person's work at the end and know who's responsible for each step. Here's another example. On this one, when a student receives a graph, they have to write its equation, and when they receive an equation, they have to draw the graph of that line. So the paper will travel through the group, and after each student does their work, they fold back all the previous lines, so only what they just did is visible to the next student. You can have a variety of different types of lines and graphs, and all you have to do to prepare this as a teacher is write the starting equations you want to use. If you use teams of seven, you'll need seven different equations to start with, so each student in the team has a different paper at all times. So at the end, all you have to do is check that the first and the last lines are the same or equivalent or represent the same thing, whether it's a vocabulary word or a picture. And then that paper, every paper that the team gets all the way through without changing the meaning, that paper gets a point. So if the team of seven students gets all seven through without any mess ups, then they get seven points and you can compete with the teams in your classroom. Here are a few more examples. You can do this for languages from English to Spanish, and as the paper gets passed, it goes English, Spanish, English, Spanish. Another one is going from descriptions to diagrams in geometry. When the last line that's visible to you shows a word description, you would draw the diagram, and when you get a diagram passed to you, you write a clear description for the next player in the team. So I hope you can find some good, quick, and easy ways to implement this in your classroom. The kids love it. It holds each person accountable, and they make sure they don't let down their team. And enjoy the rest of these videos, and have a great day. Thanks.